Hi everyone, this is our final video for solving systems. This is our elimination method. All right, so our key concept for this method is the elimination method. So we're going to multiply either one or both of our equations by a number to result in two equations that contain opposite terms. So that means that they're going to be the same number. So an example of an opposite term would be like 2x and negative 2x, okay? You can see how they have opposite coefficients. Your second step would be to add the equations. You wanna eliminate one variable, okay? So again, this is just like that substitution where you wanna end up with just one variable in one equation. When you do, it's gonna solve the equation for you. So then, our third step is exactly the same as before. We used to call this back substitution. It's still the same thing. So back substitution, and that's just basically once you find out maybe what x equals or y equals, you go back in and find the opposite. So let's look at an example of this. So we have our example here where it's telling us to use elimination. You will get to a point where it does not tell you what method to use. So you wanna make sure that you go through the list. Obviously, I wouldn't wanna graph this. So graphing, no. I wouldn't wanna do substitution because I already see that I have like decimals, I have a lot of coefficients, things that aren't gonna work nicely. So that means elimination will be the best choice for me. So I have 1.5x plus 2y equals 20, and then I also have 2.5x minus 5y equals negative 25. So generally, I like to write my system, and then we're going to have a new system. And that's going to be after we, um, you know, multiply by whatever values we figure out we need to multiply by. So let's look. So when I'm looking here, what you can think about is if you remember like a least common multiple, that means that values that are bigger, but common with another value. So if I look at 1.5 and 2.5, that might be a little hard to do mental math with, but we can look at 2 and 5. So if we look at the least common multiples of 2 and 5, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. For 5s, your multiples are 5, 10, 15, and so on. So you can see that the least multiple that they have in common will be 10. So we need to figure out how to get these to equal 10, right? So that means that my first equation up here, I'm going to have to multiply this whole equation by 5, right? And that's going to give me a 10y. Now my second equation, I need to figure out what to multiply this one by, okay? So I need to get this five to equal a 10, so that means I need to multiply it by two. Now what you need to remember is that every single thing across the whole equation is going to get multiplied. So when I'm writing my new system, I'm multiplying, I'm kind of just distributing to each and every term. So I have, let's see, so we have 1.5 times five double check in there, so yeah, 7.5x plus 10y equals 100. And then we also have in our new system, so it was that one, now we have this one, so we have 2 times 2.5, so that's 5x minus 10y equals, and then we have 2 times negative 25 is negative 50, okay? So this is our new system. This is now what we're going to be working with. You can see that our y's, when I add them together, they will cancel out. Okay, that's the whole idea of elimination is to eliminate a variable. So looking at our new system, we have 7.5x plus 10y equals 100, and we have 5x minus 10y equals negative 50. What you can do is you can just slap like a big addition sign with the bar and you just add straight down. So you add down. So I'm going to have 7.5x plus 5x. So that's going to become 12.5x. And then I have negative 10y and a positive 10y. They're going to cancel. And then I have 100 and negative 50. That's 50. So right here I have a nice simple equation. I just need to divide by 12.5 by 12.5 and x is going to equal 4.
okay so just like in the other problems this is still only part of our solution this was like our step two here we still need to figure out what y equals now you can go back to any equation that you're using you can use one of the originals you can use one from your new system it doesn't matter you will get the same answer no matter what so we need to do our step three to finalize our answer here i'm just going to use the first one because it's the first one i solved so i have 1.5x plus 2y equals 20. Now we know x equals 4, so we're going to do 1.5. We're going to replace x with 4, plus 2y equals 20. Okay, 1.5 times 4, that's going to give me a 6. So 6 plus 2y equals 20. Subtract your 6, so 2y equals 14, so that leaves y to equal seven so my total and final answer is going to be four comma seven and remember what this means right what are we finding here this is the point where those two lines would have intersect if we were going to graph them